rival captains toss up at Hampden Park when Rangers meet Aberdeen in their Scottish Cup semi-final tie. More than 100,000 spectators are there to see if Rangers can recapture their past glories and win their way to the final tussle with Celtic. The Rangers goalie has no trouble with that one. Aberdeen, according to the form book, should have an uphill struggle in this match, but the Rangers soon find it's certainly not going to be any walkover. Aberdeen get the ball away, and away they go. Joe O'Neill has a slam, and he scored. O'Neill, who came out of hospital only a few weeks ago, wins his teammates' congratulations. Willie Waddle gets things moving for the Rangers. Cox receives, but as he tries to pass it on, Aberdeen intercept, and off they go again. Buckley to Hather, whose shot is just wide of the mark. And again, it's Aberdeen on the attack. Now, Joe O'Neill smacks it home, 2-0. Half-time comes, and the score's the same. Rangers take a corner, and it's a worrying moment for the Dons. Opponents tumble, and the ball goes behind the line for another corner. Another corner to Rangers. Out comes goalie Martin to collect. Aberdeen take up the offensive again. Woodburn tries to stem the rush, but on goes the relentless forward machine. Leggett shoots, and there's the Don's third goal. Joe O'Neill soon makes it 4-0. The Rangers come fighting back. Once or twice, they frighten the Don fans, but they just can't score. Then Buckley takes over for Aberdeen. Goalie Brown's out of position, but it hits the bar. In the last few minutes, the Dons take a corner, but O'Neill is foul, and that means a penalty. Alistair makes no mistake. Buckley scores another, so by 6-0, Aberdeen go on to the final.